regardless of which one you go for, it's worth mentioning. One sec, there I am, hello. It's just these are big bloody devices. <laughs> Hello and welcome back and for those that follow this channel and the YouTube channel of course now compares and span will know that the Synology RS819 is now released. It's the very affordable value series NAS from the guys at Synology and even though it is incredibly modest in terms of its hardware and specifications it is still incredibly affordable at just around £500 you get a great 4 bay rack mount from the guys at Synology. But so many of you, when you were finding out about this device prior to its official release and since its initial release, have wondered, is it worth going for the new RS819 or going for the one year older RS818 Plus? Because the difference between them is only 200 pounds. With this arriving, the RS819 at 500 quid without the VAT and without hard drive media and the RS818 Plus arriving at 700 pounds. So the two of them, although looking remarkably similar, although one is obviously deeper than the other, I've only got 200 quid between them. And that 200 quid isn't a vast amount. If you install one less, one or two less hard drives inside your rack mount and expand later, or if you change your infrastructure or the way you're going to utilize the device, you can make that 200 quid back very, very easily, which leads us back to the question, should you be going for the RS819 or the RS818 Plus? Well, regardless of which one you go for, it's worth mentioning, one sec, there I am, hello, it's just these are big bloody devices. It's worth mentioning that both of them support Synology's DSM software, although the 818 just does a better job. Both of them support loads of those first party applications from Synology Moments to Synology Chat to Synology Office to Synology Photo Station, Video Station, Music Station, um, the surveillance platform, the container station application, the backup modules with hyper backup and more. But this device can do more backups, handle more users, do more cameras in surveillance, can run virtual machine manager something this can't do as well as more container station applications on top of that active backup suite that great backup software is available for this and if you're doing cloud backups with cloud station or using um, hyper backup to back up to Synology C2 service this will just do it better now this video is going to be incredibly one-sided by the time you get to the end but you have to understand that both of these two devices although very very similar in look they just they, you just get more, and that 200 quid is completely negotiable as far as I'm concerned. You can overlook it because although this is a value series NAS, this is a better value series NAS. It arrives the RS818 with an Intel Atom-based CPU, the C3538, a 2.1 gigahertz CPU quad core, and two gig of DDR memory that can be expanded to 16 gigabytes of memory, whereas the RS819, although very, very new and for the 2019 series, arrives with a quad-core Realtek CPU. It's still a great 64-bit ARM chip, the, R uh, the RTD1296, with 4K transcoding and still better performance than many 32-bit IR ARMs, but it pales in comparison to the X86, X86 chip found inside this device. Equally, it arrived with 2 gig of DDR4 memory, but you can't upgrade it. That's your lot. You're going to be stuck with 2 gig forever and ever and ever and ever. Whereas this device can go up to 16 gig when you've got more users, more instances of virtualization, more cameras and more. This will just go the distance. The other main difference between them, other than obviously the depths, because if we have a look at them, they are very, very different depths. We can take a look at the rear of these two devices. Now, the RS819 arrives with two LAN ports, one PSU, USB 3 ports, and be expandable with another four bays with the RS4, uh, RX418. And although both of them have got the same design in terms of trays and LEDs, it's on the rear that we see a huge disparity. If we look on this device here, we end up with four LAN ports, so with link aggregation up to four gigabit ethernet. On top of that, it's got the same expandability by another four bays with the RX418. But the kicker, pretty much after everything else, the final nail in the coffin of the RS819, when comparing these two at least, is that PCIe slot. This means you can add the M2... Um, S, uh, the M2 SSD cache card, the M2D18, or 10 gigabit Ethernet port. And given that the internal operation strength of that CPU and memory are better, once you add a faster external port, your future proofing is just sound. 
on this device by comparison. And that's really the point, because although both of them arrive with three years of manufacturer's warranty, um, SHR as a, uh, an available RAID system, that fluid RAID, BTRFS as a file system of choice, there's no denying that in terms of future proofing, your money's better spent here. And the RS819 has an audience, it has a user, it has a use, it is an affordable business solution for those that need the software abilities of Synology but don't have the budget or don't want to spend enough to get it. But the experience you get will pan in comparison to the 818 Plus and that's why this device exists by comparison and why you guys, when you compare it, I gotta tell you, the 818 Plus all the way. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this, I'm gonna bring it down here. Cheerio, hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.